Hi everyone, this is Mr. Garavag for another guitar lesson. How's it going? Um, we're learning a song called Popular Song, and it's a good song. It's got three chords. Okay? We're going to be putting a capo, it's this thing, on our first fret. Okay? Everybody knows that? Yeah? You guys know that? Okay. We're going to have three chords. First, it's the C position. Now, since we're on the first fret, it's not actually a C. What it actually is, is it's a D flat or a C sharp, but we'll call it a C for the sake of position's sake. It looks like a C. So, that's the, your position for your first chord. Now, when you're practicing your chords, ladies and gentlemen, when you're practicing your chords, ladies and gentlemen, what you want to do is you want to look and make sure that all of your strings are ringing out. So play it from the top to the bottom. All my strings are ringing out. Now, if I get any of this kind of sound, i got to check my fingers to see if maybe one of my fingers is touching a string it shouldn't, or I'm not playing with the absolute tip, tip, tippy tips of my fingers, okay? If you don't play with the tips of your fingers, you can get this kind of sound. And you don't want that unless it's on purpose. So you check your C. The C, you don't play the, the low E string. You don't play this because it's not in the chord. Listen. Don't play that. It doesn't sound nice. Don't play this. Don't play that low one. You just play this one. Just the lower, or the higher five strings. Okay? So you don't play that low string here. You can play it. Okay? Next chord is a G. Okay? G position, it's actually technically a G sharp or an A flat. But since we have a capo, we'll call it G position for now. Okay? Okay. Checking to make sure all the strings are ringing out. Now with the F, you can play the F in a couple different ways. You can play the full bar chord F where you take this first finger and this is one of the few times that you're not going to play with the tip, tip, tippy tips of your fingers. This one, you're going to play with this part of your finger right here. Am I going cross like that? This part of your finger right here. You go like this, and you lay it across all six strings from this digit up. This digit here is where you bend. See where you can bend your finger here? You want to play all six strings with this digit up. So you're playing that like this. You're grabbing it all the way across all six strings, and then going like this. This is your F. It's actually technically an F sharp. But since we have the capo on the first fret, this is an F sharp, okay? So you go like this. Now that's one way you can play the F. Remember, you have to check and make sure that you're not getting any sort of buzzing. You know what buzzing? It's yucky. It's a yucky sound. It's like this yucky face I'm making. Okay, so don't do that. Okay? Now, what you also can do is you can play just part of the F chord. Now on this one, you're not going to play these lowest two strings because they're not in the chord and they sound like yuck. They sound like yuck. Ooh, it sounds yucky. Like the face that I make it yucky. Ooh. Ooh, that's yucky. Ooh, yucky face. Yucky, yucky face, yucky sound, okay? But what you want to go ahead and do is you just play the highest four strings for the F. Technically F sharp, what we're calling an F position. You only play in those strings. Okay? When you play it and you're practicing at home like all of us do, okay, you have to make sure that you're playing the chord correctly. If you hear stuff like this, that's not a, that, that's ugly. Like my face right now. It's ugly. Don't, don't do that. Okay? You go like this <laughs> and you play the chord. Yes. So you can hear all the strings ringing out beautifully, okay? So there's going to be three different kinds of parts, three different possible parts that you can play. You can play the whole note part, it's just like this, you play. Okay, that's the whole note part. Or you can play the eighth note palm muted part where you take this part of your palm with your right hand and you rest it right next to where the strings meet the bridge of your guitar. And what that does is that cuts off the vibration of the strings and gets this kind of sound. It's kind of a percussive sound, kind of like a drum, a percussion instrument. We're calling it eighth notes because we're playing on the eighth note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 So that 
that's the second possible part that you can play. I'm, I'm going to allow you guys all to choose which part that you want to play. Then, this last part is like this. It's got a little more character. It's a little bit more difficult with the right hand. But you're doing the same thing with all three parts with this left hand. choose is just the whole note. That's your guitar lesson for the day. Do your homework.